All right, today we are going to specialize in variables, storing strings, and integers. And we are going to make an easy interview program. And this is what most um, computer science programmers uh, basically learn how to you know, start with. This is what they learn first. We're going to make a simple program how to ask um, a user's age, um, sex, or gender, um, and where, what city they're from, and what school they're at. So, and then at the end of that, we are going to print out it in a sentence of the information the user has given us. How do you do that? First of all, initialize the values. Or actually, no, we are going to t uh, do this. You, uh, this is scanner input. This is a way of letting the computer um, in get input from the user. So, memorize scanner. Input can be whatever you want, but just memorize the format of this. Scanner input equals new scanner system in, whatever. And all it does is it needs to import this library where the, now the computer knows how to do this. Okay, we're good. So, so now that we have that, initialize your values. Int age. We are going to give it an age of um, 0 as a, an initialized string uh, na first name this is why you should have um, variable na uh, descriptive variables names because if you don't you won't know what you're using so string last name string city string school no Now we want to ask the user. Um, hi there. What is your name? System dot out dot print ln. Now, if you watch my previous videos, you know exactly what's going here. This is just the output. Please copy this. What is your first name? Remember always to end your sentence with semicolons. And let's see if I can remember how to input some data. So, first name um, equals input dot next. We're going to next a string. Is that wrong? What, what am I doing? Maybe this should be line. What's wrong here? Let's see. Oh, it should be like next line like that. Alright. Alright, that makes sense. Alright, so what it does here is is prompts a user to enter their first name. First name will be the next line, so you just type in your your name. Now we're gonna ask the user what is your last name? Dot print Ellen. Alright, let's do this right. name and like the first one last name is going to equal input that next line now we want to ask the user what school do you go to likewise system dot out so you're gonna have to get used to typing system dot out of the print um, so, if you can't type very fast, well, better start learning. What school do you go to? And then, obviously, school is going to equal... Same thing as before. Input dot next. What 
city are you from? And city equals input dot next line. Finally, we're going to ask for the age. Now this one's going to be different because we've been uh, we've been inputting strings. Now we're going to get integers. So how would you do this? You will obviously first you're going to ask the user. How old are you? Um, and age is going to equal input dot next what? Next int. And then now you will print out everything that we know. System dot out dot print. This is what I have gathered. This is what I have about you. You are space plus uh, first name space. You want to add a little space in there? Last name. Want to add a little space in there? First name, last name, make this bigger. You are first name and last name. From space city. And you currently attend space end quote plus school space dash n You are age space years old So, gather your information and then spit it back out. Let's see how this works. Okay, we're going to try this out. Joe. Joe what? Joe Brown. What school do you go to? UC Merced. What city are you from? Uh, let's say Merced. How old are you? 20 years old. This is what I... Okay, so... I have to re redo this. These little slash ends, I think I did them wrong. But... And... But you understand what this is. This is what I have about you. You are Joe Brown from Merced. You currently... Oh, you current attend... Okay, so I, I, I have to... There's a mistake here. You current attend UC Merced. You are 20 years old. So, so now you know how to gather information, and you know how to spit it back out. In the next, uh, the next time we're going to do this, or as we go deeper into it, I am going to show you how to write these to a file, so you can save it to a file. You can access it later. You can do whatever you want. Um, but we have gathered all these different types and we're we have spit them back out to the user so that is input and output very basic just getting more into it
that's your basic program and before I before I end this I'm just gonna fix this part you know what just take that out I'm not really gonna mess with it now Again, Joe Brown you see Merced Merced Sam twenty one. You are Joe Brown from Merced and you currently okay. So you can just fix the basic shit right here and you understand how this works. Alright, gather the information, spit them back out. That's all we did. We we declared our our variables, we filled in our variables, and we used our variables. Right? The more adva more advanced thing you can do is start manipulating with them. You can start you know if you can just add numbers. You can do whatever. You can start doing calculations, or you can just do this basic entry level stuff. So it's all up to you. you can, so use what you learn here and start making your own projects. Start doing your own little things and mess with the code. Just start experimenting with your own code.